So I played Brawl Stars, it's a computer game, a mobile phone game with my son, right, who's 12 years old. Uh, he started playing it and that's why I got into it so that I can connect with him over Brawl Stars. And um, after a while, it took a life of, of its own and then I started playing it myself. Uh, but one thing I realized when it comes to all the characters in Brawl Stars uh, is that they are categorized into different, um, uh, different pillars. So every character has, I'll say, probably four pillars. One is um, health, uh, how much health you have. The other one is speed, how fast you actually walk. Uh, the other one is attack, what is your amount of attack that you have. And then lastly is range of weapons, right? How far do you actually hit? So when you think about it, it's like uh, if you're a computer game um, a creator, you will never create something that all four is 10 out of 10. Right, um, you will actually break up all of them into different areas. So let's say out of 40 points, you actually do have to, uh, you only have 30 or even 20 points to actually give out. And you will arrange them differently. And that gives the excitement of the game because there are some people with high health but very low attack. And other people with very high attack but one shot, they're dead. So what has it got to do with your team? Same thing, your team is made of all these different brawlers, all these different um, um, characters. And all of them, the gifts and the talents are also distributed differently for each person. So maybe you talk about extroversion, introversion, you talk about uh, thinking, right? Do they think about things deeply or do they think about things quickly? You th talk about uh, things like, um, uh, maybe even like social skills, right? Uh, are they very sociable, not? Um, or you think, of, think about details, are they highly detailed or low in details? So all of them are different. If you want to bring them together to win a battle, you want to be able to understand that you want to place them in the right area. So same thing as Brawl Stars, if you are slow but you have high attack, you want to be at the background supporting. Same thing, there are some people in your team that needs to support in this project while others should be on the forefront. That way, you actually position them in a way that they are built for, in a way that there's most, it's most natural to them. So as a leader or a team member, start to actually notice um, what, is, what are the different pillars that that person is great in, uh, that person is not so good in, right? And start to identify maybe even three, three things that they are good in. And once you do that, it will help you be crystal clear about how you can deploy them in the future as well.